Time for the Hebrew of the week. We start, finally, chapter 2 of Ruth. Ruth, chapter 2. So in chapter 1 of Ruth, um, we have backstory. Uh, Naomi and her husband and her uh, two sons go down to Moab. They marry, but they don't have any children. They all The, the men all die. The, the father, the, the two sons die. And uh, Naomi goes back to Bethlehem, uh, to her own people. Um, uh, Orpah stays in Moab, but Ruth comes with her back. You know, wherever you go, I will go. So now we're in Bethlehem, and the story continues. So see if you can pronounce the Hebrew here. Let me see if I can. So this is... Uh, Ula Naami. Um, now this one, there are no vowels. There are no vowels here. What are you doing? This should be uh, uh, Moad, I think. Um, La Isha Ish Gabor uh, Kail. Kail. Okay. So what is this verse here? So bigger they are, the harder they fall. Uh, the vav on the front is and. Um, why is it a shuruk? I'm not 100% sure because it's this is Lamed is not a bump letter. In front of Bet, Mem, and Pei, we expect a Shuruk. Why is there Shuruk here? I'm not sure, except that sometimes Hebrew does this and, you know, I just deal with it. Um, Naami is Naomi, right? So this is something having to do, and something Naomi. Uh, what is it, Naomi? It's the Lamed. It's to Naomi. Um, so it's something like, now to Naomi... Um, I went with now because this is really a new, this is part two, you know, act one, chapter one is act one, uh, chapter two is act two. So um, whoever did the um, the chapter divisions uh, did okay, I think, on this one. So now to Naomi, there was a, a kinsman. Now there's, uh, there's a, a phenomenon known as Kathiv Kare, where it's written one way and it's spoken another. And so the Masoretes were very careful not to alter the text. Masoretes, uh, who lived in the uh, the nine hundreds, thousand, you know, A.D., um, they're the ones that were very careful in copying the text. Now, uh, in my opinion, and I think the opinion of most scholars, we did not have that kind of carefulness, you know, in the prior to Jesus and with the New Testament in the in the first, you know, couple centuries. Um, but the Masoretes in the 900s and, and so forth, they were very careful in their copying practices. And so they didn't want to alter the text. They they looked at this and they said, something's not right here. <laughs> it should be Moad. Um, and so uh, they would write Kare in the margin sometimes, um, but leave the written, uh, I'm sorry, um, Kathiv, they would leave the written uh, in the text, um, because they didn't want to mess with the text, and then uh, write the Kare, how you should read it in the, in the margin. Um, so this seems to be mean kinsman. I mean, you can actually parse it as a pual or a DP, uh, masculine singular. Uh, but anyway, um, danger, danger. This is a feature of, of some parts of the text. So now to Naomi, there was a kinsman, and I put the was over here, uh, la isha, to her husband. So la is to the kamatz hay with a mapik. I'm a real hay. It's a consonantal hay, and it's a possessive, her. That's where the her comes from. So to her ish, to her husband. Now to Naomi, there was a kinsman to her husband, an ish, there's ish, ish, a man, uh, a man who was a gabor. Uh, a hero, dun 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 da, Hercules, winner of ancient glory. Anyway, so he's a he's a he's a kinsman redeemer, as we're going to say. But Gabor is like a um, here comes you know we're gonna have a TikTok, uh, not a TikTok. We're gonna have a ticker tick parade. What is it? A ticker parade? Anyway, it's celebrate. Here he comes. Da, all the confetti everywhere. Yay! Here comes the Gabor. Anyway, Gabor is a is a hero, a great man. Um, uh, I suppose I don't know if Gaborah, a great woman, is somewhere. But anyway, this is this is like a great mighty man, you know. Um, so now to Naomi, there was a kinsman to her husband, a man who was a hero of wealth of Kail. Um, so I'm taking this to be um, uh, a construct, um, 
the short vowel anyway, so it would stay the same. This is a historically long vowel. It's not going anywhere. So I'm not going to go on, and he's a Gabor, right? <laughs> I'm not going to go into a short vowel because I've been around for a very long time. Um, so uh, this word I'm saying is not going to look any different in the construct. The context is leading me to think that maybe an of, you know, a hero of wealth. Okay, so this is a fairly short verse. See if you can pronounce this last part of the verse. Uh, here's my attempt. Uh, Mimish pakat uh, Ali Melek uh, U Shamo Boaz. Okay, fairly easy here. So this is Mem Hiric doubling, so it's from. Uh, and then Patak Tav is the feminine singular construct. And then, so what is uh, Mishpak? It's the family. So from the family of. Uh, from comes from the mim, mem hiric doubling. So that's where the from comes. The is understood because if the uh, if the final word in a construct chain is definite, then all the words in a construct chain are definite. And so Elimelech is a specific person, and because Elimelech is a specific person, he's a definite person. So because Elimelech is definite, therefore um, I'm going to put a the in for the family of Elimelech. Elimelech, the name, that's the husband, right? That's Naomi's husband. And uh, Elimelech is uh, um, God is my king, um, or you know, God is king. Ael means God and Melech means king. So um, uh, from the family of Elimelech, so there's a man, a kinsman of Elimelech. He's a great man. Um, and then again, Patak Tav is where the of comes from. It's, it's construct, feminine singular construct. All right, have I milked that puppy? I think I have. So, U Shamo and his name. So, Holomvav is his. Again, why is it Sharuk and not a Vav? You know, when, you know, it's not, that's not a bump letter. But shame name and his name, Boaz. So, we know the story, right? Ruth and Boaz, they're going to get together uh, by the end of this story. Well, there you have it. This is Ruth 2.1 uh, in Hebrew. So now to Naomi, there was a kinsman, kinsman to her husband, a man who was a hero of wealth, a great man of wealth, from the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. To be continued.